Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalie and today I'm going to take you through how I set up a week in my planner with my digital journal. So here is what last week's spread looks like. Um, I didn't fill in each one of these little journaling boxes. Uh, I was pretty consistent with my morning journaling. I was inconsistent with my affirmations my one positive thing and my gratitude per day. So that's probably something I want to improve on next week. These boxes are not like, I don't have to fill in every single one of these boxes during the week. It's just not um, a goal of mine, but they're there for me to be creative with. And I know that I feel better when I do use all the boxes and when I get things off of my mind with my journal. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it so that it's easier for me to bring things over so paste page and I will erase everything um, as I go through it so starting out we are just going to change the week that we're on so this indicates that there was a new moon and this indicates that there is a full moon I like to track the moon phases throughout the month and then I am going to write out my mindset for the week. I finished filling out my mindset for the week so I said this week is going to be a great week made it through the first week back to work and killed it I'm feeling good and energized to do it all again the momentum is helping me and the new year energy but I still need to take steps to prevent burnout I know that focusing on my routines is going to help me with that I'm excited because of the way that I set myself up for success I feel good about this week I feel good and excited about life and then I set some intentions, so connection to self, um, being in tune with myself and focusing on alignment, gratitude, and having a positive mindset. So next I'm going to set my priorities. So last week my priorities were my routine as I got back to work. So my morning routine and my evening routine and getting back into like the work, the daily life. And while focusing on like spiritual habits that I'm trying to grow in 2024 and also my health and fitness habits. So this week, I'm just going to make sure that I marked that I did those priorities. These are the different aspects of my life. And so I'll just choose three that I want to focus on.
Okay, so for my priorities this week, I chose to focus on my healing and anxiety. I have some things coming up in the week that I'm already anxious about, so I just want to journal about that and like give myself pep talks. I want to figure out what limiting beliefs are causing my anxiety, I guess, and kind of like talk about them. And then I just want to like be conscious of my breath and use the tools that I've learned to help cope with anxiety. And then um, my passions and hobbies, I got Animal Crossing for Christmas. So all I've been doing is playing my Switch. And for months before I got Animal Crossing, cause last time I loved a game, it was Wildflowers and I was obsessed. And I played it like <laughs> forever, I beat it twice um, and I'm not, really like a gamer like it just kind of like rekindled I guess my love for gaming but um yeah it took me by surprise how much I really loved that game and I was like looking for another game that I loved that much and now I'm playing Animal Crossing and I'm really loving it so um my mind is like oh you shouldn't be gaming you should be doing other more productive things so I do want to focus on passions and hobbies this week and like just lean into it and like enjoy playing the game um, I also like to listen to audiobooks while I play and sometimes my brain likes to tell me that that doesn't count as reading but it does so like I'm just trying to remind myself audiobooks are great like continue to listen to them and then one of my goals for 2024 is to listen to music and like chill like dance more um, very informal <laughs> around my kitchen and I've been doing that this past week so I want to keep up with it so I put that and then my last priority for this week is yoga. Um, one of the things I do every morning is a 20 minute yoga session. And I've been like kind of needing more yang type yoga, but I also don't want to burn myself out. So I've been doing a lot of like chill um, and like tr and like getting in some yin, like some, you know, half half, but like I really need to do some sessions that actually push and challenge me because I just miss the feeling of having like a power yoga workout so um if that's what my body's telling me i need then i want to lean into that um i want to write down some routines and some favorite exercises so that i can do them more and then i want to go over my weekly routines and try to incorporate more of my favorite like transitions and stuff in yoga into my weekly routine so yeah okay so then we're gonna move on so routines this was last week let me just erase it um so this box is for uh, my morning routine and my evening routine. I just, um, in the last week, kind of rerouted my evening routine um, to fit in gaming so that I don't feel guilty, <laughs> so that I can still get other things done and hit my other goals. Um, so I'm just gonna write a little blurb about my routines. Okay, so I finished my blurb for my routines. So I put, I absolutely love my new evening routine. I'm really proud of myself for actually walking after work and it feels really good. I also love that I can game while I walk cause I have a walking pad and I set up my switch like in front of it on like um, this like shelf thing that I have. And then I just like hold the controllers while I walk. I'm like, ah, oh, so cute, love it. Um, and it actually encourages me to walk like the other day. I really didn't want to walk I was like, oh, I'll just walk for five minutes and then I was like, okay Well, I don't want to do anything else like sometimes I'll read or I'll scroll on TikTok while I walk 
and I'm like, I don't want to do anything else but Animal Crossing. It was just kind of like one of those days after work, but I still wanted to get my steps in. So I was like, Kate, set up the game, like, let's get it. And then, so I was on the walking pad and I was like really into Animal Crossing and I didn't even realize I almost did half an hour of walking, which was perfect. So I'm really glad that it's actually working for me. Um, and then I said journaling at seven really works. I used to start journaling for my evening at eight and I like pushed it back to seven, which really helps me have more time to read after I journal. So I said, of course, I wanna actually read before bed, um, but I've been really into audiobooks lately. So I'm just gonna let myself go with it. Um, morning routines are working perfectly. I might do a weekly routine, little cheat sheet to put in my journal like Sunday to Saturday. I don't usually like being super, super time-based, but sometimes it does help um, to even schedule like downtime and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, and then this is like my morning routine, which I have high bar, mid bar, low bar, depending on the day, and same thing for my PM routine. So now I'm just going to write a little blurb about my habits. So for my habits, I put literally killing it. I kind of want to aim for more than one water this week for a few days. I also want to have more greens or at least balance it out with my electrolytes because I am addicted to my electrolytes and I have them every day. So I kind of need to get my greens in them, in there. Um, I want to remind myself that I can also meditate at night. I could do chill Pilates in the morning. Like that doesn't get my heart rate up. Um, and get my active minutes in the evening. It would be nice if the weather would let me walk outside this week. It is very cold and snowy in Canada, so that's very unlikely. We're supposed to get like 15 centimeters or something crazy. Um, I would like to do my skincare three times. I only did it twice this week. And um, I want to do my, like I have a standing desk at work and one of my goals is to use it a lot more. It just like goes up and down very easily. And um, what's helping me use my standing desk is like before I leave for work, I put it up so that when I come in the morning, it's already up and it's kind of just a lot easier for me to stay standing. Um, so I've been doing that this past week and it's really helped me. I've like used it for the first hour or two of the morning, but I wanna use it up until lunch, which is like one, two, like what, three, three hours. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's one of my goals. And then just the last thing I put was to be better at tracking when I take my pills because I know that I take them. Sorry, my cat. Hi. <laughs> okay, yeah, because I know that I take my pills in the morning, but I don't always write it down. And I just want to make sure that I'm taking them morning and night. Sometimes I forget, but I also forget to track. So maybe I'm doing it and I'm not noticing. So I just wanted to be better at tracking that. So I'm just going to go in and erase all of this. Okay, so just to give you guys a little bit of an explanation about my habit tracker, the way that I have it set up, um, I have like the first like 10 to 12 habits are my ideal day habit. So like these are things like I wanna do in a perfect day. So I call it a perfect day. And then I track how many perfect days I have per week. And I also track how many I'm gonna have in 2024, which is a very new thing for me, but it makes me really happy. And it's a lot easier because 
when I wake up in the morning and I know that I don't have energy that day, then it's not a perfect day. Then I completely have the whole day off and I don't have to worry about those habits at all. So it gives me an actual break rather than setting a goal in the beginning of the year of trying to do something every single day, which is not really realistic. Like you're not going to do any one thing every day except probably brush your teeth. So um, I would love to be able to do yoga every day, but it's just not not realistic so five to six times a week is fine even less than that is fine but um anyway so yeah so I want to do as many perfect days as I can throughout the year I'm hoping for more than 50 percent of the year and that's it that's all I really need okay and then I just I like to leave the highlighter so what the highlighter means is like um, so if I wake up early and I wake up before 5.30, then I'll just dot it with yellow to say that, I, yes, I woke up before 5.30, um, just to give me a little bit of, like, a different differentiation, <laughs> I guess, um, between those times. So same thing, like, um, first thing I do in the morning is fill up my Stanley, and I either put greens or electrolytes in it, so I do want to specify which one, um, and then how long I meditated whether I did yoga in the morning or that evening or both, whether I did Pilates, so like whether I do a YouTube video and then active minutes, so whether I got 10, 20, or 30, and then how many steps I got. In February, I'm gonna move my goal to 6,000 steps. I have a desk job, okay? Like getting, even, I know you're supposed to get 10,000 steps, but getting 10,000 steps is impossible for me. <laughs> not impossible, it is a goal of mine, but just not, not right now, I need to work up to that. Um, so then if I walked outside or on my walking pad or did like a walking video, if I read, if I wrote, and if I journaled. And then I have other habits here. And yeah, and then on the side here is my goal for the week and what I actually did. Sometimes I track that, sometimes I don't. I usually do it in my weekly review. And then throughout the week, I will be tracking my health, so how I'm feeling spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, my social battery, my energy levels, how I'm feeling sexually, and my anxiety levels. So I just kept this here from last week so that I can reuse the dots. So I'm just going to go in and clean this up. So I just went ahead and left everything that I'll probably use again. So I've got my mindset for the week, my priorities for the week, my routines, my habits, my habit tracker is good to go, my health tracker is good to go, these are my reading goals for the month, and then I have my empty boxes ready for me to journal in. So if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Sorry about my cat. <laughs> If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so that you can see more videos about how I journal in my digital planner. Thanks for watching. Bye.